Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to turn our phones into the tool that they are supposed to be to help us instead of the one that they've created to distract us and waste our time. So let's go. This past month has probably been one of the, I don't wanna say worst months of my life, but I was not having a good time mentally. I could tell I was using my phone as a crutch and by feeling already kind of in a bad mood slash overwhelmed and then continually bombarding myself with stimuli in something that is like right in my hand, easy to access at all times. It was just not a good combination. So I decided to spend the day kind of like resetting myself. I wanted to spend most of the day without my phone and I felt so much better afterwards. So I figured why not just do what I did on that day and kind of like keep that concept and just apply it to my phone. Because I know a lot of people do these videos where they're like turning my smartphone into a dumb phone and they're like taking everything off of it. I don't need to take everything off of my phone. I don't mind that it works kind of like a computer. I just don't wanna be distracted by it all the time. They've done so many studies on the fact that if you have your phone nearby, even just like having it in the room where you can see it, it will literally either lower your test scores or your ability to focus on the thing that you're focusing on because there's so so many distractions that are just connected to the fact that the phone exists right there next to you and near you. So I figure if I kind of take the fun out of my phone, then it won't be something that I gravitate towards grabbing all the time because it won't have as many distractions or things that I can waste my time on. So that's the goal of this video right now. I will say that my phone isn't like crazy overstimulating or anything. I try to have a minimal amount of apps on my phone, but there are a couple that I easily could just have access to when I'm on my computer and it's like the appropriate time for me to do those kinds of things and kind of just turning my phone into what I would like it to be, which is just something that I can call, text, take pictures with, and play music on essentially and maybe like pay my bills and do online banking because I am very forgetful so having that on my phone is probably a smarter idea than just relying only on my computer so before you start clearing the apps on your phone you kind of just want to picture what you want your phone to do for you the whole point of turning your smartphone into a dumb phone is kind of just figuring out how you can use it as a tool instead of a distraction Obviously our phones are incredibly powerful and the only thing that I want to do on it is like basic functional things. I don't want to be distracted by it. I don't want to have anything on my phone that can be used as a time suck or something that I can scroll or whatever. I don't want to be sucked into my phone. I don't want to be distracted by it. I want to be more intentional when I am using my time to do something that's maybe like not productive, like watching YouTube or scrolling on Instagram, answering to my comments, like things like that. So take a second to kind of think about what the goal is for you in kind of decluttering your phone from distractions or whatever. If you have access to like a tablet or a computer that you can have some of these things on and that's where they live and instead of on your phone, then that might be a good thing to think about or trying to limit the amount of time that you spend on your phone in general, limiting the amount of time you spend on social media or scrolling or whatever. It's kind of just what your goal is with your phone. For me, I know that I get very distracted by it a lot of the time. So the least distractions possible, the less interesting my phone will be and the less often I'll pick it up, which is really the goal to kind of retrain my brain personally to not pick up my phone all the time. But speaking of phones, I really want to thank Mint Mobile for partnering with me on this video today. Obviously, a lot of us need phones in this day and age, and as much as I wanted to switch to a flip phone and just forget all about this, in terms of having a smartphone, why would you want to pay a ton of money for it if it's just going to be a functional thing for you? And I'm really thankful that Mint Mobile has partnered with this channel because they 
are on the nation's largest 5G network and their service is totally comparable to the service that I had before. And it is literally a fraction of the price. <laughs> Mint Mobile has a bunch of plans and their cheapest one starts at literally $15 a month. So what are you waiting for? I've had a really good experience so far. When I switched over, it literally took less than 10 minutes. It is so easy. You can just get the eSIM activated and then you're just like on service and that's it. So if you wanna spend less time worrying about your phone and less time worrying about your phone bill and all that stuff, then literally, you can spend less than 15 minutes and switch over to Mint Mobile today. They actually have a deal going on right now that if you switch over to Mint Mobile this month, you can get six months of Paramount Plus at no additional cost. So that's great if you wanna save some money on your subscriptions as well or wanted to try out Paramount Plus. So if you would like to switch over to Mint Mobile and give it a try, then please use trymintmobile.com slash gracenevitt. I will put it in the description as well. And thank you again to Mint Mobile for partnering on this channel. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you so much. And now we get back to business and start deleting these apps off my phone. <sighs> okay, so like I said, my phone is not crazy overflowing with stuff. I did a declutter your phone video a little while ago. This is just like the more extreme version of that essentially. So I already have not that much stuff on my phone to begin with. This is literally all the apps that I have out and about. The rest is just like the apps that I have on the rest of my phone. So already I can tell you that I just wanna simplify this front page a little bit more by deleting my YouTube studio app like completely from my phone so that when I'm doing YouTube stuff I'm like at my desktop doing YouTube stuff instead of constantly replying and doing all this stuff like in my free time because every time I get a notification I go back to my phone it's like a whole thing so trying to reduce that as much as possible Wordle I can just take that off of my home screen because I will do that if I'm feeling like I want to do that and I will go find it if I need to. Let's go through each app section. So I'm probably going to get rid of Discord as well for the reason that I mentioned in terms of like Discord for me right now is particularly used for the Discord server that I have actually that we talk about our no buy and low buy challenges and give each other advice and all that stuff and I'm definitely quite active on there but I know that like when I'm on there I kind of need to be like in I don't want to say problem solving mode but like generally I am we do discuss other stuff as well but I feel like I would rather just have that be a computer thing so I'm probably just gonna delete it off of my phone Okay, and then the rest of these apps, there's nothing wrong with them. I have the Facebook Messenger app literally on my phone just in case I'm getting rid of stuff on the Buy Nothing group of my neighborhood. I don't have the Facebook app on my phone. I just post the things on my computer and then I tell them to message me <laughs> so that I don't need to have the Facebook app on my phone because then that would just be a time suck as well. And then the rest of these are literally just used to communicate. Uh, in terms of these, Duolingo is definitely gonna go because I rarely use it on my phone. And if I'm gonna be doing Duolingo or language stuff, I would rather just do it on my computer because it's more user friendly anyways. And it's more like intentional language learning time. And then in terms of Pinterest, cause I know you can see it right there, I have this little Pinterest widget on my home screen as my 2024 like kind of manifestations or whatever. It's just like to remind me either to stay intentional, there's like little affirmations on there, there's also like pictures of what I want my future life to look like. It's kind of just my vision board and I have it rotating so every hour it's a different image from my Pinterest board. And the way that you do that is, here, let me just show you. You can literally add a widget by just holding, pressing, plus scrolling down, adding the Pinterest widget. And then once you have it, you can click it and click 
the board that you want to do when to update it and it's really that easy essentially I think this is a really nice way for me to look at my phone and feel inspired because I know that some people you know really drastically bring their phone down to like be less visually appealing but not to knock you if you do that and that's what you need to do and that's fine I don't necessarily need to do that I just need to make my phone less interesting so on that note in terms of Pinterest I have it so that it's a shortcut so every time I click on it, it immediately boots me to Notion. So Notion is where I have all of my content stuff and everything there. So it's kind of just a reminder to like, okay, maybe like focus on work or like do something for YouTube because you probably have something that you could be doing in terms of that. So it's a good reminder of like, okay, don't scroll, go work on something or go be intentional and do something else. I can show you how to do that really quickly because it's something that's really, really helpful for me. It's an automation so that when Pinterest is opened, it's literally like when app is opened, run immediately that it boots you to Notion. So it opens Notion. There's probably a bunch of other videos that actually explain that quite a bit better, but like just if you have an iPhone, you can go on shortcuts and do this. And I find it extremely helpful. And you can boot it to whatever app you want. There's one sec where you can have a free version of it and it kind of just like makes you take a deep breath. And I had that on my Instagram for a little while, but a couple of days ago, I straight up just deleted the Instagram app off my phone because it was making me so anxious. So that's already gone. But anyways, is there anything in this section that I can get rid of? Yes, Gmail, sorry. I do not want gmail on my phone the notifications are annoying i'd rather just go on my laptop and clear the emails as they come in or like deal with them on there because if i see something especially if it relates to like youtube or whatever i either forget to respond or i feel overwhelmed it kind of like ruins the moment that i'm in so i'd rather just like go check my emails intentionally at a time where i'm like mentally prepared to deal with them if that makes any sense because there's nothing that is like so overwhelmingly important that like I need an email right now about it. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, let me not, let me not do all that. In terms of photo and video stuff, I think these are literally the only four apps that I have. So I'm definitely gonna delete YouTube from my phone and Canva because I don't really need that on my phone either. In terms of travel, there's nothing on here that would like make me <laughs> spend extra time on my phone so that's fine pango books definitely need to get rid of that because i do not want to be scrolling looking for books on my phone i think there's probably a website version that i could sell some of the books that i'm trying to sell but i don't want it on my phone substack i'd rather just not have anything that i can scroll so i'm taking that off too everything else is fine kindle is like reading so i mean i have my actual kindle anyways but if for some reason something happened to my kindle and I really wanted to read. I don't mind reading on my phone, but I don't usually use my phone to read because my Kindle is just easier on my eyes. Anyways, I feel like we're pretty much done. I'm going to get rid of Slack as well because it's just not necessary for me to have on my phone. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't see anything else that like would cause a problem and cause me to spend an exorbitant amount of time on my phone scrolling or anything. All these apps are pretty boring and functional and somewhat necessary for me to continue doing things in a daily life. The apps that I have on my home screen are basically just period tracker, notes app essentially, which is Google Keep is a slightly better version to me than like Apple's version of notes because Google Keep is kind of just like little post-it notes kind of thing and I like it better because I can pin things and organize it a little bit easier. It's kind of like a bulletin board of my thoughts. It's more organized than like the folders and random crap of Apple Notes for me personally. And then Libby and Storygraph are just how I keep track of the books that I'm reading or get them from the library. So yeah, and then obviously Google Calendar because it is my second brain and if I didn't have it, I would be... I don't even know what would happen to me. <sighs> so that's great. I feel very good about this. I really 
hope that you got some inspiration or ideas or advice from this video that will be helpful to you in your own life and hopefully you have the strength to delete the apps that do not serve you off of your phone i highly suggest taking social media apps off your phone i can't tell you how much better i feel now that i don't have instagram on my phone i literally just from deleting those apps i feel like wow I don't even need to pick up my phone unless I'm going to text someone. So yeah, that's that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Till then, I'm sending all my love because we are all just trying our best out here. So yeah, that's it. See you next time.